All right, let's talk about it. Um, you had meetings, you talked to media. I think you're full of it and lying. And I think that you were in your weekly touchdown celebration rehearsals. Am I right? Uh, no, nah, not yet. You know, nor normally if we go about Friday, Saturday, <laughs> get the creative juices flowing, you know, so no, nah, not yet. Who's in charge? Because we've seen all different kinds of waddles. Y'all have 30 touchdowns, more than everybody. You're killing it. Who's like the ringleader and the choreographer of the touchdown celebrations? Um, I tell you, two will be having some good ideas. Re <laughs> Rob Hunt, um, Raheem, this whoever, like whoever for the week, like got something good and then we come up with it and then kind of practice it a little bit on Friday and then yeah, see it on Sunday. Well, you're telling me that two was like, no, y'all, I got it. Let me tell, really? Yeah, two of it, two was like, oh, I got a good one. And or Rika be like, oh, nah, we should do this. Or then Rob Hunter say, oh, nah, we should do this. And then we kind of like debate on it a little bit and then go with something. We got some, we got some stuff stashed for sure. We got some good ones. Well, you have to have a big one for this week because it's a special game, isn't it? A little bit up against Devante? Uh, no, nah, nah, not for real. Like it's Sunday night, Sunday night football. That that's exciting, but no, nah, I, I feel like it's just a regular game for real. Jalen, they're calling this a Super Bowl preview. Really? See, I, I don't really be like tapped in as much as I need to be, but now it just seems like a regular game for really. Like Sunday night football is gonna be exciting, but like a late regular game. They're five and one. You got your Bama boys, Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. I heard about an hour ago you said that you talk to Devontae every day. What is the text chain looking like headed into this regular no big deal game on Sunday night? Oh, uh, Pretty pretty solid. He gives my uh my mom tickets to the game. Um, <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty much the uh, been it for real. Like um, you know he got a kid, um, so he's just been you know just on daddy duties. I love that. I want to talk about your wide receiver group. You or just your your skill players. You Mostert, Tyree Kill. Um, you're all crushing it as far as speed, right? Former track stars and the miles per hour. I'm sure you don't know them because you don't pay attention, but you have, you know, like 22.0 for Tyreek. He got 21.93. The NFL mm. clocked you, my friend, at 21.63 last year. Mm. What, do you, mm, what does that mm mean? Mm. <laughs> Rolling a little bit. Are you faster than that? Oh yeah, I got I got some more in the tank. I just need to hit that open space a little bit, and <laughs> um, yeah, definitely they've been they've been hitting some. We got Devon hitting top twenty two. Yeah. Um, Raheem Reek hitting Sav hit like a twenty two in the preseason. So we we got some fast guys. I ain't gonna lie. Jalen, how are Darius Slay, OG, and company supposed to stop y'all? Oh man, they do a good job. Um, Slay OG. Uh, they got Barry Barry Job. Um, former Bama boy. Um, also, man, they play real good together. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. They do a good job of uh, communicating on the back end and do a good job um, getting the ball out. Um, they some real ball hawks, and they all working together with a front seven, and they really tied in. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. Waddle, why don't we talk about your quarterback skills more? <laughs> At least you can. Like, I be telling Mike, I be telling Mike, like, I'm like QB four, QB four five. You you know, if every if everything was to go down, <laughs> they put me in right there to make something shake. I know it for a fact. Well, I think Tyreek might have something to say about that. He's not bad himself, and, huh? And and that's fine because he gonna he gonna say what he gonna have to say, but he know in his heart. Next time y'all talk to Reek, y'all just ask him in the throwing competition who comes out victorious ninety percent of the time. But what does McDaniel say about your your campaign to be the emergency he QB? He don't really be listening. We got said said like a former QB too. He got like a, a good arm, but he's not accurate. Like that's what I be saying. It's about accuracy. Yeah. What's McDaniel like when he's mad? Um to be honest, he really like just or he really showed more frustration than mad because um he knows like the, the caliber of guys we got. Um and when we not playing up to his standard or what we normally play, he just showed more frustration than any 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 like mad. Yeah, there's not not much to be frustrated about if you're a Miami Dolphins player or fan or coach or anything, because you all are killing it. I want to ask you about Tua because he's got a little spice to him this year. I like seeing it. 
when you look at what he was last year and you had great chemistry with him right away, it's carrying over, it's growing. What's evolved about him the most from even just last season to now? I think just uh, his knowledge of the offense, um, going back to, you know, back to back OCs and kind of knowing the calls and what to expect um, from Mike and he's just growing his knowledge of the game. Um, just another year in the league, um, getting to getting familiar with more defensive schemes. Um, so just going into all that um, and then his work, his preparation throughout the week and um, games has uh, really expanded and, you know, his leadership, um, he always been a great leader, but I think he's doing more of a um, a better job of being more vocal um, from, you know, from the O-line to the running backs to the receivers and then getting those the reporters. All. Yeah, most definitely. We like seeing that. He's dealing. People, the people out there want to say anybody would deal if they had the talent, like guys like Jalen Waddell, Tyreek Hill, all of y'all around him. What do you say to that? Um, I would say that's not true. Um, you know, he does a he makes us look good, uh, like probably 90% of the time. Um, he allow us to get the ball and put it in a perfect position for us to, you know, make crazy plays and, you know, juke people wild and get all this yak that we uh love to get. So if anything, he's making us look good. And he's choreographing your touchdown celebrations, which is breaking. On top of that. On yeah. top of that. <laughs> On top of that. They do it all. Listen, everyone's trying to waddle. Who has the worst waddle you've ever seen? Oh, uh, worse? Uh-huh. Uh... Braxton Berrios? No, nah, not Braxton. I've seen dancing on those Alex Earl TikToks. Uh, not Brax. I don't, I, I honestly don't know. It, like most people, like if they not go that, they won't even like participate like in it. So like, I don't see nobody, if they uh -huh. normally doing it, then it, they pretty solid. Most people just stand on silent. All right, y'all got it. And then come in, you know, after. But, but Jalen, I just want to say, and I'm sure the Dolphins PR standing right next to you uh, during this interview, they're really happy that you decided right now to not sell out your owner. You said, I, I led you to, I'm a reporter. I led you to the water. And I said, drink, Jalen, drink to Stephen <laughs> bad dancing. And you said, no, Kay Adams, I'm not going to do it. Hey, Stephen Ross, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I didn't know he still had them loose hips like that. What do you mean it wasn't bad? He's getting torched up and down. It, Come on now. It, it wasn't bad. I, I messed with it. Shout out, shout out Mr. Ross, man. <laughs> Holding it down. We love to hear it. You and Tyreek Hill. What goes behind, what goes into your relationship? What's the secret sauce there? Oh man, that that's that's my dog. You know, he's been a great teammate um since you know coming coming in since the day he stepped in. A uh, great teammate. It's like a, a a big brother figure. Um so, you know, he um get on me when I'm when he think I'm I'm BSing and then, you know, um when, when I'm doing good, he really he really ain't gonna show up. He gonna tell me to you know stand on it and, and keep going. So um, he really pushed me, you know, um, throughout the week just to you know be a be a be a pro and, and be a great player that you know the team can lean on um, on Sunday. So yeah, um, it's been great. I like when he when you say when he thinks I'm BSing, not when I am BSing. When he thinks I'm BSing, yeah, most definitely. Um, that Mike Evans bite that was viral about his future in acting, uh, was it the craziest thing you've ever heard him say? Um, no. <laughs> um, shockingly, no. There's yeah, more. <laughs> yeah. Reek is a man of uh, many uh, surprises, so that's definitely not. That's uh, just a little snip. Yeah. yeah, last one for you. I know you're excited to face Devontae. It's all love there between the two of you. What do you want to say to the uh, the Georgia Bulldogs you're facing on Sunday night? Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Swift. Roll Tide. The Tide must roll, even though they do got two back-to-backs, but still roll Tide. But still. Yeah. Roll tide. Good still luck on roll. Sunday night, Jalen. Most definitely. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.